working on this Roush uh, Stage 3 Mustang. We are doing the billet timing guides, oil pump gears and all that. And I couldn't really find a lot of information on timing a Gen 2 motor. So this is going to be a quick video showing how to do the assembly. I already disassembled everything. I wasn't planning on making a video. But this is like after you got everything apart. I guess I'm going to explain how to take it apart real quick. So basically, you want this keyway at the 12 o'clock position. And when it's at when it's in 12 o'clock, the R right here should be facing up. Just like that. And also the QR code should be facing up. If it's not facing up, go do a full 360 and bring the keyway back to 12 o'clock. And then it should be lined up. So once it's at 12, you could take the tensioner and chains off and everything. And then you want to rotate it clockwise to 5 o'clock. Which is, what it's, which is what it's at right now. And then you could go ahead and take off the driver's side. So that's pretty much where I'm at right now. It's still at five o'clock and I'm about to install the cam phasers, show you how to time those. I just did the MMR secondary bracket and just got in some uh, Boss 302 tensioners. So we're gonna install those as well. Move the phasers on the driver's side the cam keyway should be facing kind of towards the right. And the QR code will be facing up. Here's how the cams sit on the passenger side. The little dowel pin slots are on the bottom. QR codes on the top. The notches are on the sides. And the QRs on the top. Now it's ready for assembly. To time the cam phasers. So this is the driver's side. You're gonna put the two dots between the slot on the intake phaser, and then the one dot, color link to dot on the exhaust phaser. And then for the passenger side, one dot for the exhaust phaser, and then the two dots for the intake phaser. Just like that and that would put the notches where they're supposed to be and it'll line right up okay I got the cam phasers on the L should be pointing towards the right and then with the tensioners you want to pull the tab and after you pull it just push on the tensioner a few times. The reason why I say to pull the tensioners because even if you pull the tab, it won't release the tensioner. So you gotta press them a few times. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. See, you hear it click and now it will be opened up. So you don't want to install them and just leave them in the locked position. And then now you could go ahead and install it on that side. Alright, I almost got the driver's side on. As you can see, the dot lines up with the color link. And on the bottom, the dot is with the color link. I did have to move the crank just the just slightly to make it line up and you could also move the cam just a little bit just to make sure you could also move the cam just a little bit to help it line up and now we're going to be installing the boss 302 tensioner these got the ratchets on them that's the factory one which which I which is just uh, oil fed so these are cast iron and should be a lot stronger handle more rpm It also comes with new hardware. Once you get it, once you get it on, torque it down to 89 inch pounds. So right there. Okay. 
Now just double check, make sure all the dots are still lined up. And re remember on the driver's side, you got to mark up with the one that says L and not the R, but the L. So we're good. And now we can pull the pin. And now your timing's set on one side. Now that the driver's side's done, we're gonna do a full rotation. So here's the timing dot, timing keyway. Now it's at five o'clock, so that was one full rotation. Now we're gonna take it back around and put the keyway at 12 o'clock. So right there. Maybe just a little bit more. I got the passenger side done. The dot should be lined up with the R. And then on the bottom. Should be lined up with the timing mark. Now that timing is complete, we're going to rotate the engine a few times by hand just to make sure everything's done correctly. See, I marked the I marked the teeth that the gear goes onto. Just the easier way to make sure. All right, quick overview for everything that we did. We did the MMR secondary bracket with Acufab secondary chains, GT350 uh, primary chains. Also put uh, ARP cam bolts, Boss 302 tensioners, primary and secondary. And then we did the boundary billet oil pump gears and the boundary sprocket. And now it's time to put the covers back on and see how it runs.